Hey, what's going on, guys? Hope you guys are having a great day today. Um, first and foremost, I want to say happy Thanksgiving to you guys. Um, if you, I hope you got to see all your friends, your family. Uh, if you guys watched football, yeah, I hope your team won. If not, I'm sorry. I'm not really into the whole football thing. I pretty much just eat turkey with my family and then um, chill on the video games with my family or play board games with my family. You know, it's kind of like a family day for me, but... Either way, I hope you guys are having a great day today. If you guys are going to go out for Black Friday tonight, please be very careful. Keep in mind, we still have a virus going around. Um, but be careful more in the way of violence. Um, I'm going to tell you a small little side story here because I think you guys might find it funny. And we have a long gameplay, so you know, sit back and relax for a little bit. But... Um, me and my boyfriend, we literally went to Walmart about, I want to say two days ago, and they have this little deal going on where you can walk out of Walmart with a smartphone for like $10. Uh, people think that that means it's a $10 phone and it's done. No, you still have to pay for the phone and the service. You have to pay the remaining amount for the phone and the service. Uh, so keep in mind that people think this is just, oh, $10 and done, right? And... Me and my boyfriend, we're in the, you know, we're in the game section or the electronic section of Walmart, and we're looking at games because we're trying to get a little bit head start on our Christmas shopping, and, um, you know, we hear stuff crash and everything, uh, stuff fall all over by the counter where the checkout counter is, and, uh, you know, the little phone cases that they hang up, we hear all of those crash. Uh, I'm seeing fists fly between this older guy and a younger guy and they're fighting and everything i hear someone calling for security and then all of a sudden this skinny kid is like 19 or 20 he's around my age but he's tall but he's skinny he is hightailing it away from this older guy and i see this older guy come up and his head is bleeding like gushing out blood all on the floor and I'm thinking, oh, damn, someone literally either had their ass handed to them or what. We don't know what the whole cause of it was, but this was right around when they had made that announcement for $10 smartphones. So we're assuming that's the reason. If not, somebody was talking smack or whatever and a fight just broke out. I don't know. But that is typically what you would see with um, Black Friday. So if you guys do go out for Black Friday tonight, please just be careful. Be courteous of others. If you do assault someone, you are going to go to jail. It is pretty common fact. If you hit someone uh, and, and they know how to fight, you're not only going to have an ass whooping, but you're going to go to jail too because it is against the law to assault someone. So please keep in mind, laws don't like disappear for Black Friday. Um, just be careful as well. Uh, try to you know, mind your space or whatever. I... Whenever I used to try to go before the whole pandemic, I pretty much, you know, kept my hands to myself and, you know, just kind of squeezed through a little bit. And, you know, I'm not really a super skinny guy, but I will definitely fit in a tiny spot and I will definitely squeeze through if I can. But, uh, you know, just try to mind your manners and, you know, treat people how you want to be treated. If you want to have someone hit you in the face, that's a different uh, that, that that's a different kind of uh, fetish. So not not here on youtube just just saying not not here on youtube um but yeah no be careful if you guys go out tonight um tonight we are bringing a halo gameplay i'm pretty sure this is capture the flag and these matches go on for a long long time i may actually have to cut a little bit of it out every now and then just kind of you know shorten it up because you know I, I don't know if i'll be able to make a whole 19 minute video but a couple of things, um, I'm going to be bringing more Halo Infinite gameplay. One, because the game is just so much fun. When the game releases, if I'm able to get the $60 campaign, I will be doing a complete... Eh, it's going to be recorded, but you'll see my face and you'll see my reactions and everything to me actually playing it. Um, cause right now my internet is not allowing me to do live streams, which is weird cause it was fine beforehand and now something's wrong. We think we need to get a new, uh, router for our internet. Uh, we, ha we have to have somebody come out and look at it. It's so weird right now, but 
where I used to do live streams and it was completely fine. Uh, whenever I do them now, it is laggy. So that's why I've been doing recording videos. But we will be, if I can get the game, I will be doing a live, you know, reaction to me playing it. I'll record myself playing it. I'll chop it up into short segmented videos. But, um, and I'll post it here on the channel. Because I am a big Halo nerd. I've grown up with Halo series. I played all of the Halos before, including 5, which is, we, we don't talk about 5. 5 is really, really bad. Um... So, <laughs> I'm really curious to see what they're going to do. Uh, shout out to my boy Tempest who follows the channel and subscribes. Um, he had mentioned that a dev, that he can't remember which one, but a dev had actually released information that you can climb every mountain that you find in there. So, I am very, very more, like, I, it just makes me more excited for this campaign. Uh, I can't wait to play it. I'm having a blast on multiplayer. I don't really like Capture the Flag because they aren't longer, but um, as the time of me recording this, they have the uh, event going on right now. It's uh, Season 1. I actually have the game pulled up right here. It's called the Fracture Tenrai, um, which you can get this really cool samurai outfit and get attachments for it. It's so freaking cool. Uh, I'm actually level six in that kind of battle pass. I'm level eight in the season one battle pass, but it is so much fun. I have some Fiesta gameplay that I'll be posting up here in a little while. Uh, if you don't know what Fiesta is, if you're new to the Halo franchise, you spawn with different weapons found in the game and you try to get the most kills as you can with those weapons. And, uh, basically every time you die, you spawn with a new set of weapons weapons so uh it's pretty fun i do kind of get why people are kind of not really happy with the event because in order to progress through the event you have to get a special event challenge for the weekly and um sometimes you won't get one like right now i don't have one but when you finish one of your other ones you should be able to get another one some people have noticed that it's gonna it takes them a long time to get an event one and there's only really six days in this event five days left as is the time of recording is probably four by the time you're seeing it uh so it does kind of make things a little bit harder i do understand that but um either way lose or win i'm having a blast you guys are going to be seeing all of the gameplay that i get just because it's fun. I really, really enjoy it. Uh, I do get some rage moments, but you know, it's because like I said, I get super close to that kill and I die and I say, oh man, okay, whatever. I'll spawn and I'll do another one. It's fun. You know, you can get kills no matter what your skill level is. The skill-based matchmaking is good and it's the right kind of skill-based matchmaking. You have the people that may not be so good at the game, but you also have people who can still have fun, get a lot of kills and everything. And it's kind of like the old school based matchmaking where, you know, it's a mixture of all skill levels. And that's what we want for Call of Duty. But, you know, we're not going to talk about them right now. Sledgehammer Games is actually on vacation. And uh, by the way, I just want to quickly say, if you guys are playing Vanguard, don't use uh, the dead drop uh, specialist or whatever. It does not work anymore. They broke it. I have been using it on there, and it what it's supposed to do is reward you your kill streak when you die. Uh, apparently, it doesn't do that anymore. So, if you have that running, I'd take it off because it's not it, it's not working, and I'm not very happy with it either. But you know, it is what it is. But going back to this game, it's so much fun. It runs smooth. I have no lag problems other than the minor lag spike, which is because of my internet. I will actually say that's because of my internet. I don't have the best. But I have the best where I'm at. Uh, when I move, I will be going to fiber, uh, the fiber, fiber optic. I think that's what it's called, fiber internet. <laughs> so we're, we're going to get fiber internet whenever we do move. So that's going to be a lot better. I'll be able to do more streaming and everything. Um, and plus, my boyfriend does a lot of his work uh, online. So it, it, it balances it all out. And quite honestly i can't wait um until we do do that because i do kind of miss streaming i am hardlined to like tethered i'm tethered to my router so that's why it's not so bad right now um 
but yeah, I am playing on PC for people who want to know if I am playing on Xbox or PC. I am playing on PC, but um, I may get the campaign on Xbox just because I need to stick true to my myself. When I get Halo, I usually get it on Xbox because, you know, that's where I played all of the Halos before. However, the multiplayer is free. You can get it free on the Xbox store. You can get it free on Steam. I have it on Steam for my PC, but I'm pretty sure as long as you log in with your uh, Microsoft account, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure if you log in with your Microsoft account on the PC version from Steam, if you download the Microsoft version of it, you still your progress will carry over. So I'm not entirely sure. I have to test that out. And I'll let you guys know in my next video. But that is something I kind of like is it's now on PC. A lot of people have been wanting Halo on PC considering that most PCs use windows windows is made by microsoft microsoft made halo so you know it, it, it's kind of you know what we've all been wanting and again the game is fun no matter how good or bad you are at the game you still end up having fun when you kind of look at it and you look at all the other games you you realize man i i'm having more fun on halo than anything else i guarantee you if you were to play vanguard for a little bit like, give it an actual playthrough. Even if you don't like Call of Duty, play through Vanguard and then come back for Halo. You'll notice a big difference. It's night and day between the two. I am just, I'm a, I'm so happy that this game is, is working. And on top of that campaign, I'm hearing that it's going to be like this open world type campaign, which is so cool. I think they said there's going to have a hub, kind of like with uh, the way Destiny has, but I'm not quite sure. Um, you know, all of these are kind of like just rumors what I'm hearing right now. So you take everything that I'm saying right with this stuff with a grain of salt. It may not happen, but it would be cool if we could see that. And on top of that, with all the new weapons that are in this game that you can test out in multiplayer, it's so cool. I think my favorite new weapon in this game is the skewer. Uh, I had a mission where I had to get five headshots for, and I, it was five headshots in Fiesta, and I got all of them with the skewer. It is amazing. I love that gun. It has low ammo, but I'm able to snipe with it. It's so good. Um, on top of that, you can melee and kill like instantly because it has like I think two swords on the front of it. It's so cool. But um, I think when the game fully drops and we're able to kind of pick our own game mode i think i'm going to stay away from capture the flag just because of how long the game modes are slayer i think it's about like 10 minutes um as you're seeing right now this is literally one full uh we're only 13 minutes in and it's like i have like 19 minutes left for this video this is one full capture the flag and what i've noticed with capture the flag is you got teammates who don't want to capture the flag. You got to realize in these objective game modes, you got to play the objective or it ends in a tie regardless. So if you're one of the teammates who are just running around getting kills, please get the flag. I do my best to defend the flag. I do my best to head towards and get the flag, but sometimes I, I have to kind of play it strategically to run away from getting killed. So I do try to go for the flag. I do run back whenever I know our flags are taken. So I do try to play the objective as best as I can. Um, but capture the flag is just super long. I think I'd probably mainly play Fiesta, Slayer, um, a couple of the other big team battle game modes. Just because I like it when there's more, like, in bigger maps like this, like Fragmentation, it has so much room i think big team battle is exactly perfect for this for this map i don't think i've played a 4v4 uh on fragmentation just because the map is super big but um trust me big team battle i've loved ever since they introduced it into uh halo 4 i played a lot of that just because there's more people into it um i get halo is like a 4v4 traditional type game uh, and I still play those modes every now and then when I don't want to fight a bunch of people. But when I really want to just sit back, kick back, and have fun, I go to 
big team battle and it's the same with this game this is the game of 2021 that you can kick back and relax and have a fun game for casual casual players if you're having a hard time on games like call of duty because you want to just kick back and relax and you're a casual player you're not the super hard sweaty uh try to you know mlg pro type guy and you just want to have fun on a game halo infinite is going to be your best bet even if you've never played a halo game download this one give it a shot see what you think if you like it then keep playing it because it's going to be probably the best first person shooter in 2021 and probably 2022 um as you guys if you guys look at the steam reviews for uh battlefield 2042 it is literally the most negative reviewed game on steam i think peppa pig put a game out and it's more positively reviewed than battlefield 2042 and that's saying something <laughs> um so halo seems to be doing really good it's almost as if we took a flashback to the 2000s like the early 2000s where call of duty is meh battlefield's having an identity crisis and halo is kicking ass so <laughs> it's almost like we went back to the early 2000s and you know i'm not i'm not hating it i'm not hating it at all uh i'm loving it every single minute of it uh the more they put out for halo the more I will probably cover. Uh, again, you're probably never going to hear too much negativity on this game from me on this channel because, honestly, as a Halo fanboy, I'm happy, but as a first-person shooter fan, just of the genre in general, including all of them, this is the best one. And as, honestly, my non-biased opinion, after I did play Battlefield 2042, and it is bad. I had high hopes for Battlefield. It released buggy, unfinished. I know there are people saying that they had the best time playing it, even though it is buggy and finished. And I'll say this, it may be a little bit better than Vanguard, because Vanguard is Vanguard's just incomplete all the way around. <laughs> even the zombies isn't, isn't even good. But um, regardless, this, this game's in beta. And it feels like a fully finished game. And I am absolutely happy and have high the highest hopes that I can possibly have for this game. And personally, I just want to say thank you 343 Industries for listening. Or 343 Studios. I'm, I don't know if it's Industries or Studios, but thank you for listening to the community. Because even they could have released the game unfinished. They could have released the game a year ago when... People were griping about the graphics. They could have just released it and not cared. Kind of like how Call of Duty has has done with the past three Call of Duties. Um, on top of, you know, Battlefield doing the same thing this year. But they didn't. They chose to listen to their community. They took it back a year. And honestly, I think these other game developers need to look, specifically Activision, with their yearly COD. Uh, unfortunately, there was a rumor going around saying that COD was going to have a, uh, they were going to discontinue yearly releases. Unfortunately, that's not right. You may see a little bit of lag right here, but that's literally just my laptop trying to process a 19 minute video. Uh, I just want to say that is, uh, that's a rumor. It's not true. So don't believe everything you read on the internet, but I'm almost out of time, guys. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. Stay safe tonight. If you go out for Black Friday. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.